Welcome, my name is Jessie. This is a quick and simple daily movements class so that the body can feel good and the mind can feel a bit more relaxed through some breath work and connection. But we are going to start seated. So take your time, find a comfortable seat, whether you're just waking up or it's the evening or you need a little break in the afternoon. Take a few moments to get any wiggles out you feel like the body needs. Maybe rock the head to one side and then the other. And then for a few moments, just begin to find stillness in your easy seats. Allow the hands to rest on the knees. For a bit more of a connection, you can always rest one hand on the heart and one on the belly. And maybe you softly close the eyes as you take a deep breath in through the nose. Really filling up, feeling the lungs expand, maybe feeling the chest rise. And slowly exhale through the mouth. See if you can take a bit more of an expansive inhale here as you breathe in, filling up. Notice any sensation in the chest as you pause. And then exhale completely. Seeing if you can retain the fullness of that last in-breath, but invite a slower exhale here. So breathe in. Slowly breathe out. One more time, just like that. And when you're ready, keeping the control on your breath here, very gently inhale and reach the arms out by the side and up overhead, really reaching and lengthening. And then as you exhale, place that left hand on your mat as that right arm extends up by the ear and over towards the left side. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, cactus that arm, bend the elbow. Inhale, reach. Feeling a nice stretch in the right side body. Exhale, bend that elbow. Really controlling this inhale as you reach, straightening that arm. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach. Exhale, come back up through center. Both arms reach tall. Invite another inhale. Maybe the thumb softly reach back behind you for a baby back bend. And at the pace of that exhale, reach that right arm down as that left arm extends up by the ear. Exhale, bend that elbow. Engaging the hand, noticing the back. Inhale, reach a little bit more. Exhale, bend. You're doing it right as long as it feels good in your body. Inhale, reach. Connect with this exhale, bend. Inhale, reach. Exhale, reach both arms up overhead. Take another inhale here. Exhale, bend both elbows. Inhale, reach. Exhale, we're taking a twist over towards that left side. So that right hand makes a connection with the outside of that left knee as that left arm reaches back behind us. Just gently twisting here. Breathe in. And breathe out. And then we're retaining the connection with that right hand and the left knee. But on that next in-breath, sweep that left arm up by the ear. And then as you exhale, gently reach that left arm diagonally towards that right knee. And so you should feel a nice stretch and elongation on the left side. And then take a breath. Invite a purposeful inhale. And as you exhale, gently release that left hand towards the right knee and then begin to just round the spine here. Tuck the chin into the chest. Inhale to unravel, reaching both arms up overhead again. And then as you exhale, we're taking this twist on the other side. So be aware as that left hand connects with that right knee. The gaze is wherever is comfortable here. Draw a purposeful breath in and control this breath out. Inhale, feel the lungs expand as you reach that 
right arm up overhead. And then as you exhale, take this side body stretch again, reaching diagonally. Breathe in, maybe you feel, peel the chest a little bit closer towards the ceiling. And then as you breathe out, that right hand connects to the left knee. And then again, just cactus the back, rounding. Breathe in, return back to center, reaching the arms up overhead. And then as you breathe out, we're finding our tabletop here. So rolling over the legs or maybe swinging the legs to one side. And then we're just very gently waking up the body here. We're all working with different body parts, but as you keep this connection and control in the breath, begin to just rock the hips from side to side. Maybe you allow these movements to get a little bit bigger, dipping the hips back as you take this movement. And then on that next breath, even anything out. And then we're inhaling to lift the gaze and drop the belly. Exhale, round, tuck the chin into the chest, really pressing the floor away. And take this a few more times at your own pace. Maybe it feels natural to rock the hips back and forward as you move. But not just moving through this movement like you're checking a box. Really trying to connect your breath to your movement. And slowly, one controlled breath at a time, maybe you feel the mind feel like background noise to your focus on the breath. And then when you're ready, even anything out, tuck the toes and very gently as you exhale, find your downward dog. Bending into one leg and then the other. Take a slow breath in. And a slow breath out. Inhale, bend the knees a lot so that maybe the belly can rest on the thighs here. And then as you take your exhale, maybe you begin to straighten the legs again, keeping the chest connected and pressed towards the back of your mat. Inhale, expand. Exhale, settle. And on that next inhale, roll yourself forward into your plank. And then as you exhale, release the knees down or keep them lifted. Take a strong breath in and a slow breath out. And on that next inhale, very gently rock the shoulders a bit past the wrists. And as you exhale, hug the elbows in by the side and lower yourself all the way down to your mat. Untucking the toes, maybe walking the feet back a bit. And then right here, we're moving into spider tip fingers. And so invite the hands about six inches diagonally from the shoulders, lift the elbows high and then breathe in, peel the chest up. Maybe the gaze lifts too, exhale, allow yourself to lower down. We're all working with different body parts to so move through this two more times at your own pace, breathing in to lift and breathing out to lower. Moving organically and naturally with the breath here, inhale. Exhale. And then realign the chest with the hands, tuck the toes, use the knees to guide you, round yourself back through a cat back stretch, maybe dipping the hips to one side and then the other, whatever feels good in your body, and then find your downward dog. Very gently, send the gaze to the top of your mat and take a few gentle steps towards the top of your mat, finding yourself folded over the legs. Maybe keep this generous bend in the knees, grab hold of opposite elbows, and rock yourself from side to side. And feel the surface below you. Notice the connection your feet are making with your mat or the ground. Let all the effort in the head release. Relaxing the head. Unclenching the jaw. And on an inhale, release any bind with the hands and allow yourself to halfway lift, shining the heart forward. Exhale, release down, mount. Softly bend the knees, inhale, reach the arms out by the side and up overhead, really reaching tall. Maybe the thumbs softly reach back behind you. And then as you exhale, invite the hands down to heart center. They can stay just like this or they can release down by your side. 
Gently closing the eyes. Take a slow breath in through the nose. And a, and a purposeful breath out through the mouth. Slow breath in. Strong breath out. And on that next inhale, with engagement, extending through the arms and through the fingertips, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, melt the chest forward, forward fold. Breathe in to halfway lift. Breathe out to gently place the hands and step it back for your plank. And then you can stay with the knees lifted or you can lower them down as you inhale to softly rock the shoulders past the wrists. Exhale, lower yourself half or all the way. Untuck the toes and then lift yourself up into an upward facing dog or maybe a baby cobra with the hands hovered. And then when you're ready, we're all meeting in that downward dog. And then from your downward dog, very gently inhale, sweep that right leg high. And as you exhale, release that heel towards the glute, peel open that hip. Whatever it looks like is perfect, as long as it feels good in your body. With a purposeful inhale, re-straighten that leg. Exhale, hug the knee into the nose, rock yourself forward to plank. And then step that foot between the hands, maybe you guide that foot there. Release that back knee down. If there's any pinching or pain on that knee, maybe you fold your mat or place a pillow underneath the knee. And then allow the hands to be wherever is comfortable. So they can rest on the thigh, they can be on the hips, whatever feels natural. And for a few moments, we're just gently rocking ourselves forward and back. Beginning to release any tension in that left hip. Take a slow breath in and a slow breath out. Inhale. Exhale, maybe you sink a little bit deeper. Breathe in. And then as you breathe out, both hands ground down on your mat as the right foot walks out to the edge of your mat. We're finding our lizard pose from here. And so now if it feels natural, you can roll on the outer edge of that front foot and really sink that left hip down. Maybe you keep the back toe tucked. Draw a deep breath in through the nose and a slow breath out through the mouth. Inhale and exhale. Notice if you were actually aware of that last breath or if you were just moving through the motion. It's harder to be worried about what the mind is saying when our focus is on controlling the breath. If you're truly controlling the breath, all the other benefits of this practice will come. Just take it one breath at a time. One more inhale. And exhale. And then when you're ready, very gently lift yourself up onto the hands. Walk that right foot back between the hands. Send the gaze to the top of your mat. Lift that back knee. Take a big step forward, forward fold. Breathe in to halfway lift, really engaging the back, shining the heart forward. Breathe out to fold and step it back for your downward dog. Breathe in to roll yourself forward into your plank. And breathe out to lower yourself half or all the way. And then lift up into your heart opener. Feel the chest expand here. Purposeful exhale, find your downward dog. Whatever that transition looked like is perfect. When you're ready, inhale, sweep that left leg high. At your exhale, release that heel towards the glute, peel open that hip. Inhale, or re-straighten that leg, square off the hips. Exhale, hug the knee into the nose, rock yourself forward, and step that foot to the top of your mat. We're releasing that back knee down. And then just take the next few moments to get any wiggles out you need and make any soft adjustments. And then find a comfortable placement for the hands. And then maybe at the pace of that breath, you find that those micro movements with the body again, rocking yourself forward and back. Engaging the core. Just 
Slow breath in. And slow breath out. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, both hands come to the inside of that left foot. Maybe you roll onto the outer edge of that left foot. And see if you can notice the next six breaths here. See if they can be deep and controlled. Breathe in. Slowly breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Where can you release a little bit more into this pose? Can you relax the face? Can you unclench the jaw? One more inhale. And exhale. And then very gently walk that left foot back between the hands. Tuck that back toe, lift the knee, and find your downward dog. Breathe in. And then as you breathe out, release the knees down, maybe about the width of your mat, and allow the big toes come to touch. Find your child's pose here. You can reach the fingertips a little bit further out in front of you, and as you take your exhale, sink the hips back a little bit more. Take a slow breath in. And a slow breath out. And then very gently walk yourself up so that the shoulders are over the hips. Gently swing the legs to one side and then out in front of you. Maybe you shake out the legs for a moment. And then we're taking just a seated forward fold here. So breathe in, reach the arms up overhead. And as you breathe out with a flat back hinge from the hip, so maybe keeping that bend in the knees. And then when you feel like you can't fold anymore with the flat back, that's when you allow the spine to curve and the head to release. Take a slow breath in. And a slow breath out. Inhale. And exhale. And very gently lifting yourself back up. Place the soles of your feet on your mat. Arms extend out in front of you. And as you take your next exhale, slowly lower yourself all the way down to your mat. Hugging the knees into the chest here. And then place the soles of the feet on your mat, but about the width of your mat. And then gently, arms go to a T, just windshield wiper the legs from side to side. And very gently come back to center. Place the soles of the feet together, the outer edges of the feet down, and allow the knees to part for a reclined butterfly here. The hands can be wherever it feels comfortable, maybe one on the belly and one on the heart. Take a slow breath in and a long breath out. Relaxing the toes and the feet. Relaxing the ankles, the shins, the knees. Relax the hips and the thighs. Feel the belly softly rise and fall. You can stay just like this, or maybe you straighten out the legs for these next few moments. Feel the chest softly rise and fall at the pace of your breath. Relax the fingers, the hands, the forearms and upper arms. Feel the shoulders draw back and relax. Unclench the jaw, relax the muscles in the face. Take 
take a slow breath in through the nose. And a slow breath out through the mouth. And for the next few moments, bring your awareness back to the rise and fall of the chest. If you have the time, I encourage you to rest here for a few more moments. But if not, you can very gently begin to wake back up the body, roll yourself to one side, and then press yourself up into a seat. Take your time, and on an inhale, sweep the arms out by the side and up overhead. And as you exhale, the palms come to touch, and then invite the thumbs to the center of the forehead for good thoughts. Draw a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, let the thumbs fall to the lips for good words. Inhale. And as you exhale, let them fall to the heart for good intentions toward yourself and others. The light in me sees and loves the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Sending all my love.